Hi, welcome to IF. Today, Planet of the Apes. A great film franchise which is among my favourites, with two very good movies under their belt and a third on the way. We asked the question, what if apes did take over the world? Could it happen? And would it be anything like the movie? It is my hope that out of this solemn occasion a better world will emerge out of the blood and carnage of the past. A world found upon faith and understanding. A world dedicated to the wish for freedom, tolerance, and justice. Believe it or not, there is historical fact behind this very idea. At the end of World War II and the beginning of the Cold War, Joseph Stalin funded a program to create an ape-man super warrior. These Soviet super apes would then fight and help him achieve his goal of world domination. The Soviet dictator was keen to rebuild his army in the mid-1920s. He and others hatched this crazy idea of crossing humans with apes. In his words, I want a new invincible human being, insensitive to pain, resistant and indifferent about the quality of food they eat. This is where we are introduced to the Russian scientist and physiologist Ilya Ivanov. He was instructed to crossbreed humans with apes. Blindly following Starling's orders, without any regard for the ethics, the program began. Ivanov utilized surgeries like those that earned Pavlov a Nobel Prize and he successfully extracted animal sex glands, this helping him develop the techniques of artificial insemination. His research was seen as a success and was expanded to more types of animal. Ivanov became the leading international figure in the study of artificial insemination. The first whispers for his idea to make super monkey warriors using this artificial insemination occurred in an Austrian zoological conference in 1910. Seven years after the revolution of 1924, Ivanov started conducting experiments on sperm, a key part of the process supporting his theory of hybridization. At this time he was given access to chimpanzees and $10,000 from the Soviet Financial Commission. His project was given the thumbs up and he was away with the full support of the Soviet Academy of Sciences. This is where we meet German scientist Hans Friedenthal. Hans was an expert on blood cells. During the 1900s he found that chimpanzees, gorillas, orangutans and human cells were far more similar than anyone had previously expected. Friedenfall believed that the reproductive cells for these primates could be similar enough to result in a hybrid human ape. Over the next 20 years, other researchers like the Dutch zoologist Hermann Marie Bernalar Moens and the German sexologist Hermann Rodleder tried to test this prediction. They began planning the inseminations of females with chimpanzee sperm. Luckily, they never got much beyond the planning stage. Moens was even fired from his teaching position. But undeterred and with the money from the Russian Institute, Ivanov went to French Western Africa to carry out his experiments. However, his research was hounded at every turn. During this time, Ivanov made the horrific decision to attempt his experiments using African women and chimpanzee sperm. He attempted to inseminate three females before being forced to abandon the project as useless. It was at this time that the authorities found out about his plans and put a stop to them. After a month, the money and the support, well, it was all gone and Ivanov had to return home. He was still keen to carry on with his experiment and decided that he would continue in Russia. He had the idea of using Russian woman volunteers and he found one who was willing to take part. 
but it was not meant to be. The Soviet Academy of Sciences found out about his plans in Africa, and the support was withdrawn. Thankfully, no one suffered any real actual harm during these experiments, other than that of the scientists' careers. But are we sure the crossbreeding research stopped there? The ape man super warriors may be regarded as a myth, but let's just imagine if he had been successful. Would we have super smart apes like those of the movie? Apes are said to be three times stronger than a man, so they could easily outpower us in a one on one or a hand to hand combat. But those days are gone, and with the technical nature of warfare today, it's not much of an advantage to be so strong. It's smarts that matter. The apes in the movie have a comparable IQ to that of their human foes. If they could gain access to the human arsenal of weapons, they would be capable of using them, and we would all be done for. But that being said, we already use technology at hand to keep the smartest life form from being able to access weapons. Us. So unless the apes were master planners and had a greater intelligence than humans, they wouldn't stand much of a chance. Another deciding factor would be numbers. The current number of humans serving in the armed forces outnumber the population of apes worldwide. They would have to somehow organize themselves into a single location or organize cells and start the war. They would face a huge uphill battle. At this point, I better issue a spoiler warning. If you haven't seen any of these movies, go take a look, then come back and finish this video. Okay, here we go. The one thing that the movies do is devastate the human populace with the disease that made the apes smart. So now that the human numbers are taken out of the mix and with the population being all but wiped out, in what becomes a plague, we can no longer secure our technology. Advantage apes. But if we still had the advantage of numbers and Ivanov had been successful, the ape population would be controlled. Human beings using them as a workforce, their strength perfect for grueling manual work. Maybe if their population grew over many years, we could see an uprising, and maybe then we would see a country of apes, but not a planet. I would love to read your comments on the Super Ape Warriors, and if you plan to see the new movie, or any thoughts you have on the previous two films. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, or a thumbs down if you're an ape. Maybe slap that subscribe button, ring that bell in the top corner, Till next time.